Right, not quite sure if this is going to work or not. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel everybody, hope you're keeping safe and keeping well. So this morning, me and Dad are going to attempt to mole some water pipe in. I mentioned in a previous video that we want to put a bit of pipe through the ground across this field here. So what we're going to do is we've got an adapter that goes on the back of the mole plow. It's really crude, you just basically wedge the pipe on, you've got to heat up the pipe to widen it. Wedge it onto this bit of kit and the mole plow will pull it through. So. Well, we'll see how it goes. I'm digging out a trench here where we're gonna have a join. Um, we're doing a shorter bit first just to see how well it goes. And if it's all right, we'll keep going all the way down to that point there. Dad's just hooking up the mole plow now. Um, and then yeah, we'll be giving it a go. See if it works all right. So this is the, uh, the bit that we've borrowed. Bit, yeah, bit crude, isn't it? It, it is crude, <laughs> but apparently it works. It's been repaired. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've never mould uh, a pipe in like this without actually pulling it in. Yeah, so the pipe goes on there, doesn't it? And then... Well, apparently it does. You heat the pipe, put it on, and put it in. Now, I wouldn't recommend this normally. We used to have Ransom's uh, beam mould valve, uh, yeah. and that did have a, did have a homemade adapter. We did mould uh, some water pipe in with that quite successfully. In one way, it makes no sense at all to stretch a pipe. But no. It doesn't, doesn't really... I wouldn't do it for a, a permanent house job. No, obviously. it's just to feed but a trough, isn't it? It's feed a trough, but uh, I think it's worth a shot. Worth a shot, yeah. Well, we'll get the it gas. We've got so much to do. Yeah, let's get the gas. We'll get the right. gas and give it a go. Well, nearly melted the pipe, but it's on. Well, <laughs> usually cheap ways out don't work, but it might. It might. More than a ball of wire, isn't it? Which used to be 50 yards, yeah. 55 yards, 60 meters, I don't know. Metric system. Are we in metric, are we? Yeah, we're in metric oh. now. In Imperial, I know, it's Imperial Mint. Ah, Imperial Mint, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Murray Mints we used to have. Murray Mints. Yeah, so good. Well, you're of an age now. We do, you keep Werther's original, pack of Werther's original in, oh, yeah, in yeah, your pocket. Oh, yeah, I've got fully loaded with it. Fully loaded with yeah. Werther's. Yeah. Um, shall, we, uh, shall we give it a go? Give it a go, yeah. Yeah, it's going in. Yeah, keep going. Pipe's going in. Well, you've missed my hole. <laughs> yeah, I did. I'll dig that out and we'll find it. I, I, I moved a bit extra, Nick, to get out of the ground, but I was trying to allow... No, that's fine. I probably, it's probably overkill at the other end. Well, it's remarkably it's done that. Whether it works, I don't know. Sorry about missing your hole there, but... That's fine, I don't we'll think dig it's down. Quite deep anyway. No. I leave you enough um, to grip it there, because you've got to heat it up, unfortunately, to get it off. Heat it up to get it off again. <laughs> yeah, leave me enough so I can pull it. Is that all right? Well, probably a bit more, because it gets really hot. Yeah, probably be all right. About there? Yeah. Doesn't feel like it's stretched it, you know. No, it doesn't. Maybe it's because you've only gone about 50 yards, 50 or 60 yards. Yeah, I think, the, I think the tip is to do short lengths. At least it shined up the uh, it's hot. It's still hot. The mold, isn't it? Yeah, it is warm. But it's only gone. It's only gone. Only <laughs> yeah. gone fifty yards, isn't it? Right. Well, I have to say, it worked. Heat, heat that up, pull that off, and uh, we'll, we'll give the other bit a go. Right in the light there, I'm afraid. Okay. 
haven't got the, uh, the joint. It's got an elbow on at the moment, but I don't have a straight on. Yeah. It may have pulled it up slightly as I pulled out there, but we'd have to just dig down. Dig, dig that out and yeah. then join it there with a straight one. But it's in two foot up to that point. It is. It's gone in a, much deeper than I thought it was going to. And I don't think that stretched it. You just said I don't think it has stretched it. Writing. I think that's that's gone quite well. <laughs> Really pleased. That actually went a lot better than I thought it would. And it actually went in at a fair depth as well. So good job done that is. So rest of the day, um, gonna carry on crossing things off my to-do list. Got a lot of pre-harvest jobs to do still. Got some more sweeping to do. And I wanna get the grain trailers greased up and washed down. So that'll be me this afternoon. So I'm just gonna sweep out this shed here. This is one of the sheds we tip, tip the grain in um, when we bring it in off the fields. So I'm using the big Sweepex brush again, sweep everything to the back, and then I'll hoover around the edges with our big brute hoover. Same again next door. <laughs> I'm just going to take the mole plough off so I can hook up the grain trailer and bring that down for a uh, bit of a wash down and a greaser.
so I've just popped over to farm two with the loader. I've got a couple of lorries that need loading up out of the store here this afternoon.